Today is Tuesday, November 20th, 2018, at about 10 a.m. Now, this Labrador Retriever came in yesterday with a complaint of discharge, blood, blood, bloody red discharge from the vagina. Now, when the dog came in, as you see in the first video, the discharge was not so obvious. And uh, but now you can see we have hospitalized a dog and you can see the discharge is really in large amounts, copious discharge, bloody red, vagina discharge. But the dog is okay now due to antibiotics and IV drip. The diagnosis is open pyometra. Now open pyometra means the infection of the uterus, the birth tubes, and the infection is so bad that uh, the pus forms inside the uterus and because the cervix is open, the dog has uh, passed out the pus. Now the treatment is usually to spay the dog. After spaying, this infected uterus would have been uh, removed and there would be no more vagina discharge. So we put the dog on antibiotics first and IV drip yesterday and today we will wash the bed and uh, let the dog be on antibiotics for a few more days before we send the dog home first. Shorten the leash. Let's shorten, shorten the leash so that the dog doesn't move. Huh? So the first thing we do is, is to bathe away, wash away the, the vagina discharge to keep the dog clean. And uh, the dog will be sent home first and be given antibiotics for the next seven days and uh, the, the discharge should be off, should be down, should be gone and uh, we will ask the owner to clean up the dog and then the best is to get the dog sterilized within the next few days when the discharge has, has gone, gone away due to antibiotics and it's best not to do surgery now when the dog is having open pyometra and was in a very bad condition, having no appetite for at least a week. So, give the dog a general bath, yeah, especially below. Eh? So this is a case of open pyometra in an 11-year-old female Labrador Retriever that has not been sterilized when she was young and uh, some owners don't believe in sterilization in spaying the female dog or the male dog has they feel that it is cruel it's cruel and uh, so they don't want to do it but for female dogs when they get parametra there is the cost of medical cost is much higher than a normal healthy female dog not not having pyometra and being spayed. So the owner has to be aware of the cost and the high risk of uh, a dog developing pyometra infection in the womb. Now in this case, the pyometra is called open pyometra. Open pyometra means the cervix is open and the dog can discharge the pus in another type of pyometra, it is called closed pyometra. Closed pyometra means there is no discharge from the vagina and the dog has a big abdominal swelling and of course the uterus is all stuck inside the the uterus is all swollen inside the abdomen and this is a more serious case and that one needs quite urgent, immediate surgery to remove the infected 
swollen uterus. So now we just give the dog a bath, including the body, and then we send the dog home. Today is day two of inpatient treatment for a Labrador retriever, female, 11 years old, with open parameter. You can see, uh, let me show, uh, there's a swelling, and there seems to be a tumor on top. Uh, is that tumor? It looks like uh, one of those uh, vulva tumors. And uh, so now the discharge, animal discharge now, should be much less. But it's not fully cured yet. Eh? This is only day two. Then we see the the lower part, the swollen, the swollen nipples. Is it a tumor? No. Not tumor. This is due to false pregnancy. You can see that. That means the dog has been sucking the own nipples. The other one. See another one. Some more others. And uh, you can see false pregnancy is is also one of the consequences of not sterilizing the dog. Uh, this is evident by the nipples being enlarged, although there is no birth. I just stop now. The dog should be going home soon.